a father documents what he insists to be an inexplicable occurrence observed through his baby monitor. As he and his wife engaged in playful interactions with their two children before bedtime, typically their evening routine involves games like tag or hide and seek. However, on this particular occasion, an event transpired that continues to elude the father's comprehension. Intrigued by the anomaly, he records the footage on his mobile device. Here is what he captured. Suspecting that either his wife or child may have been concealed within the closet, the father patiently awaits their emergence. To his bewilderment, however, no one is found inside upon the door's opening. This revelation understandably unnerves the father, who adamantly maintains that prior to the door's movement, he distinctly heard a disembodied voice. Upon reviewing the footage, the father finds validation in his experience, confirming that his perception was not merely a figment of his imagination, but a genuine auditory encounter. Despite the absence of a rational explanation for the inexplicable event, the family has received feedback from individuals attributing the occurrence to supernatural forces. Nevertheless, regardless of the speculative interpretations, the family remains resolute in their decision to keep the closet securely locked. They express a desire to distance themselves from the unsettling incident, harboring hopes that such occurrences do not repeat themselves in the future. Residing within the intricate terrain of the Appalachian Mountains, nestled somewhere in Tennessee, USA, Dustin finds himself enveloped by a landscape shaped over 480 million years ago. This ancient mountain range predates much of terrestrial life, fostering a rich tapestry of folklore and belief in the presence of supernatural entities. Late one night, Dustin's senses are pricked by peculiar sounds echoing from beyond his window, compelling him to investigate the source of the disturbance. So, it's two o'clock in the morning again, and... There's a security light right over here, and it just was on, and then it went off. Oh, it just came on again. Initially encountering nothing upon investigation, Dustin's curiosity is piqued when the unsettling sounds recur several nights later. 
It's worth noting that denizens of the Appalachian Mountains adhere to a common maxim. If you hear or see something out of the ordinary, assume you didn't. However, Dustin's decision to defy this convention and explore the source of the disturbances heralds a cascade of escalating events. On a subsequent night, as he ventures into the kitchen to procure a snack, an ominous disturbance interrupts his routine, prompting him to instinctively reach for his recording device, capturing the unfolding events. I was just trying to get me some trail mix and... The eerie recording captures a chilling moment as a voice eerily reminiscent of Dustin's own beseeches him to grant entry. Observant viewers swiftly identify this phenomenon as a mimic, cautioning against opening the door until the safety of dawn. Despite this ominous warning, the subsequent night unveils an escalation of the unsettling occurrences. The unsettling saga continues as the recording captures the ominous sound of movement traversing the roof. With each passing night, the intensity of the disturbances amplifies. Everybody last time got fucking pissed at me. Open the door. Because I opened the door so I'm not going to do that this time, but it's back. Despite seeking respite from the unsettling occurrences at his residence, Dustin's attempt to find solace in the local marina with a friend proves futile. Dismissing the notion that he might find reprieve simply by being away from home, the unfolding events paint a starkly different picture. Okay, so here we go. Here's some water. Did you hear that? I hear some more. I know, she kind of looked rickety. Oh. She very rickety. But, uh, so apparently some people, they, like, they live out here, and then other people, they just, like, rent it for the seasons, and, um, I, I don't know, I feel like I couldn't live on the water, oh, fuck, Ooh. yo, I hate that shit, <sighs> anyways, <laughs> I tripped, <laughs> um, but I thought I heard something, but yeah, we should probably head on because it's like starting to rain and stuff, but
thought I heard like yeah. footsteps or something. We gotta go, go, go. Oh my God. As Dustin and his friend explore the marina, a disembodied voice urges him to jump in upon nearing the water's edge, unsettling their tranquility. Subsequently, the camera captures the disconcerting sight of a figure skulking in the background, despite Dustin's friend being visible in front of him, ruling out the possibility of it being his companion. A sense of dread descends upon them as they are confronted by a terrifying sound, compelling them to hastily retreat to the safety of home. However, the night brings no respite as Dustin is jolted awake by a horrifying presence. Seeking refuge from the haunting occurrences, Dustin seeks solace at his parents' residence, only to find himself haunted by the same unsettling noises that plagued his own home. The pervasive sense of unease suggests that the malevolent presence is inexorably trailing him. Determined to confront the enigmatic force, Dustin resolves to fortify the premises by installing security cameras in a bid to capture evidence of the inexplicable phenomena. Shortly thereafter, one of the cameras captured something truly terrifying. So I just got home from work, and I found this on the ground. And I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like it is busted. The footage unveils a disconcerting sequence wherein Dustin's dog abruptly flees moments before the onset of eerie voices and unsettling sounds, hinting at the animal's acute perception of impending danger. Subsequently, upon returning home from work, Dustin is met with the distressing sight of his destroyed security camera, signaling a brazen act of defiance by the malevolent force haunting him. The relentless onslaught of paranormal activity reaches a tipping point, leaving Dustin bereft of peaceful reprieve and succumbing to emotional turmoil. Contemplating departure from the Appalachian Mountains altogether, he grapples with the daunting prospect of severing ties with the land he once called home. In a separate account, Ali, a lifelong resident of the Appalachian Mountains, shares her own encounters with inexplicable phenomena. During a routine drive with her friend, their vehicle inexplicably stalls, thrusting them into a chilling confrontation with the unknown. We are in the middle of nowhere. Um, my door is locked. Um, oh my god. I can't even get out. Can I lock it? There we go. Okay, hold on. You figure it out. I want to know why my Press the button back right there. Right there. Well, on the door handle, like above the door handle. Above the door handle. 
You see it? Yeah. Hey. Oh. What do we do? What was that? <laughs> do you hear that? Yeah, we better get back in the car. Yeah, we better. <laughs> that was locked. Why is the Unlock it for me. Something weird has happened with this car. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, Let's see if it starts. It started. Waiting for connection. Bluetooth connection uh, success. What was that? Let's get out of here. Go. Does it run? Is it working? Yes. It is. It's working. <sighs> Thank God. As their vehicle grinds to an abrupt halt in the desolate expanse of the wilderness, a disembodied voice pierces the silence, beckoning Ali and her friend into a realm of uncertainty. Moments after disembarking from the immobilized car, an ominous knocking resonates against the window, further unsettling the already tense atmosphere. Viewers scrutinize the authenticity of the footage, with some attributing Ali's composed demeanor to familiarity with the rugged landscape, while others question the sincerity of her expressions. Amidst the conflicting interpretations, the enigmatic encounter leaves a lingering sense of intrigue prompting contemplation on the veracity of the inexplicable phenomena captured on film. A mother's attention is drawn to an unexpected event unfolding near the rear entrance of her residence. Moved by the peculiarity of the moment, she instinctively reaches for her phone, eager to capture the anomaly on video. This particular area had been the subject of her recordings previously, albeit under different circumstances. She recalls filming when her dog inadvertently damaged the glass on a window pane. Despite the initial distress caused by that incident, it now holds a place of sentimental value in her memory, especially since the recent loss of her beloved pet. However, on this present occasion, as she resumes filming the door, she is met with yet another surprising occurrence. Even when it's open, it shows up. Move! Can you move? Can you move? She's taking the video. She's coming back. Oh, it's got dark hair. Can you move your big ass head? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no, you're not. He left. Wait, disappeared. Now it's disappearing. He's going to play with the dogs. And then it's going to come back. Snoop started running around crazy. It's coming back. Yeah. That's crazy. No one's wanting to look 
hoping that I can see a face a little bit. Upon closer inspection, a discernible outline emerges, resembling the silhouette of a dog etched onto the glass. Its presence materializes abruptly, appearing as if the canine is patiently awaiting entry before vanishing as swiftly as it appeared. The family is undoubtedly inclined to interpret this fleeting apparition as the spirit of their departed pet, who was recently laid to rest. Despite the profound sorrow accompanying their loss, there is solace in the notion that their cherished companion continues to linger in their midst. Whether attributed to the supernatural or not, this recorded manifestation serves as a poignant reminder that the bond shared with their beloved pet transcends physical boundaries, enduring beyond the constraints of mortality. Thanks for watching Scary Videos. Here we make Scary Comp or Scary Compilation where we do reaction and narration on scary videos, creepy videos, scary ghost videos, ghosts caught on camera scary TikTok ghost videos, poltergeist, paranormal activity, demons, and witches. Caught on camera, paranormal investigations of ghost hunters and ghost hunting. These are the scariest videos on the internet. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like, share, and press the notification bell so you get notified every time when we post new content.